we well I was playing the Rocketeer just a minute ago and I wanted to show uh, show off some video games to my son Osian and <laughs> he wanted to play the start button. Hit the button again. The same button. He's just a year and a half old. Yeah. Press the button. Let's play. Play the game. He paused it again. He doesn't know which button is what. A minute ago, right before I started recording, he just kept jumping in the same place. I don't think he's ever played video games before. There you go, he unpaused it. <clears throat> oh, the character you're playing in the video game has died. Continue. We're playing the Rockets here. Hey, we'll let Daddy press the button so you can play it. Hey, no fussy, no fussy. Hey, no fussy. Look, let Daddy press the start button so you can continue. There you go, there you go, look. Look, there you go. There's nothing to fuss about. Daddy had to press the start button so that you can continue the game. This was cinematography in, in video games 20 years ago. Twenty years ago, this was cine this was cinematography in video games 20 years ago, back in the early 1990s and the late 1980s. This game is The Rocketeer, and it's for NES. Ah, we're playing the Nintendo NES. We're playing the Nintendo NES, and we're playing this game here, Rocketeer. I've actually got two of them, uh, two of these games, because uh, I liked it so much. See, there it is again. But this one in my hand is the one my my dad got me for the Christmas of 1991, which is right at 20, right about at uh, 20 years ago, or 21 years ago. Oh, he's actually, yeah, Osian, you're doing good, good boy, yes. He's actually moving the character and jumping around. I really like this game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. It's just, it, it actually follows the movie. And, uh, whereas the Super Nintendo version of the game, um, might have the Super Nintendo version of the game around here somewhere. Mm, well, somewhere in this stack. Doing good, O Sion, for your first time, as far as I know of. Keep playing, keep playing. Oh, I keep searching for that game. Uh, there were several games that originated on the Nintendo NES, and Metal Gear was one of them. Uh, the Contra series originated as an arcade, but then they released it on the um, on the NES, and I believe I've got two of these. Um, where is that? Where's that Super Nintendo version? Of, uh, here it is. Here it is. The Rocketeer on Super Nintendo. And I've got the box to the computer game, the PC uh, version of Rocketeer, which I believe started it all. And there's a comic book in 1982. 
and uh, there's a comic book in 1982. Then in 1991, um, they made it into a movie, but at the same time, um, some other publisher, some other, uh, <laughs> oh, a telephone, no, we're not talking on the phone right now, some other publisher had, um, turn the volume down, uh, back in 1991, there was a publisher of, you know, game software that adapted the comic book to the, um, to the IBM PC, and, uh, and, and, you know, released a, uh, the Rocketeer on, a, on the IBM PC as a computer game, and it was very loyal to the comic book. Now, this Super Nintendo version of the game is actually just a, a port or an adaptation of the original PC game to the Super Nintendo platform, which you see the Super Nintendo right there. And uh, this game in my hand and the PC, the computer version, were very loyal to the comic book. Now, the version that you see on this TV of the Rocketeer that my son is playing, <laughs> um, and I have another one of them in my hands, this one is not loyal to the comic book. This one is actually based upon the movie. Uh, which I like, and the movie was based upon the comic book, but, you know, Disney sensationalized the movie and have the, you know, story and romance and all this other kind of stuff, and the movie, the movie is like a masterpiece. Play it. Play it, Osian. Um, I have the movie on VHS, uh, The Rocketeer on, uh, VHS. I've had it since, uh, the early 1990s. Um, so I've got it on VHS. Play it. Play the game. And then I've got the DVD around here somewhere of the Rocket oh, of the Rocketeer. Oh, but um, I also have the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray disc of the Rocketeer. This is the 20th anniversary edition. So it's a special edition, yet it has no bonus material at all. Not even a director's commentary, which was fairly common on some of the DVDs. And so this aggravated me uh, a whole lot to not have, um, not even director's commentary. Now, where did my... But I've got the Rocketeer on DVD somewhere. Um, and uh, so I've got it on... Uh, on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. I've got two actual physical car uh, copies of the, um, you know, the NES cartridge. You know, official, licensed, everything. No piracy. Um, you know, I got one in the Nintendo that my son was playing, and then I got uh, one here in my hand. I've got the uh, Super Nintendo game, and actually, back in 1996, went out and bought the computer, you know, the PC version of the Rocketeer. So I have all the Rocketeer games um, and the Rocketeer movie on every format except for Laserdisc. Uh, I'm assuming it was on Laserdisc also, but I don't have a Laserdisc player. If I were to get on the, if I were to get on Laserdisc, then I'd have absolutely, you know, every. You know, format of the movie and all that. Oh, this battery's running down on this camera, so we're gonna have to continue this some other time. Uh, I'm Christian Noggle, and this is my son. This is my son, Osian. Uh, this is Osian, my son, and, and I guess he's gonna like video games just like his daddy and all that. So, uh, pet some.